Good morning, good afternoon. Oh, <laughs> might help if I'm uh, showing my face here. Uh, there we go. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening wherever you are in the world. Welcome to today's helping of We Are One Meditation, and it's uh, my pleasure and honor to um, <clears throat> introduce um, Jill, Jill Pasquinelli, to those of you that have never met her. Jill is a very long time experienced um, Jin Shin Jitsu practitioner, and we're blessed to have her with us today. So, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much, Terry. Welcome to everyone here. It's, it's wonderful to have you at the We Are One. For people who have not been here before, welcome. For people who we've been seeing, welcome. My colleagues and I really feel this is such a gift for us to be able to connect with all of you all over the world and, and hopefully add something to your lives during this incredibly um, challenging time, shall we say. So today is we're going to be holding the ring finger and the ring finger helps to harmonize our second depth. For new people to Jin Shin Jitsu, I just want to talk for a moment about what a depth is. A depth means dimensions and qualities of being. There are some outside of the body and there are some depths that make up this physical body. So it's movements and dimensions of energy as it spirals from spirit to matter and matter back to spirit. So today we're focusing on our second depth, our ring finger, and we'll be practicing this together. And today we're going to practice the full sequence that is in Mary's self-help book one. Whoops, sorry about that. Self-help book one. And I'm going to talk about, uh, well, actually, it's autumn. And second depth is the season of autumn. So it's a perfect time to be practicing uh, holding the ring finger, which represents our second depth. And autumn is the only season that has two functions. One is the harvest, the harvest of everything that has gone before that we've grown through the whole year. And then the other, of course, is letting go. Letting go. So um, we're going to talk about that. So beginning with, Terry, can I have the first slide, please? Yeah. This is our We Are One Daily Self-Help Meditations. And then next, second depth is the element of air. And I love this slide because it shows air in its many different expressions. And to realize that that element, we are made of that element. That element is inside of us. It's not only outside, but we are filled with air. So we are going to begin by holding our thumb. The next slide. We're going to hold our left thumb with our right thumb and fingers wrapped around the left thumb. And the thumb has to do with the attitude of worry. Worry, anxiety, and so forth. And in harmony, second depth will take, help you to take your mind off of your worries. So we can just drop our shoulders. When we drop our shoulders, this clears the mind. It gives us a better metabolism and a balanced breath just by dropping the shoulders. So we'll drop our shoulders and hold our thumb. Second depth is the element of air, like I said, and the breath. Second depth represents the breath, our respiratory system, and the deep skin layer of the body. 
So being the element of air, the second depth also has to do with the mind, how we think, how we see things, the nature of our thoughts, our perceptions, and our intellect. The attitude of second depth is grief and sadness, attachments, corroding anxieties and mental, emotional uh, difficulties, mental, emotional disturbance. And so as we drop our shoulders, I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, second depth, as Mary said, is where we harbor all of our guilt and hurts that we carry. And Mary said, there are a lot of things thrown at you, but you don't have to catch them. We're going to move now to our index finger. The next slide, wrapping our right uh, thumb and fingers around the left index finger. It's never too late to have a happy childhood. We can't change the past, but we can change our thinking. We can change our perspective. So this all has to do with second depth, and I'm going to talk about loss and grief for a moment. Before I, I do, our index finger is fear. So if we don't take care of our worry, it goes deeper, it goes into fear. Again, just dropping the shoulders. And fear can be transforming into allowing life to flow through me. There are many ways that we experience loss. The loss of a job, the loss of what's familiar, right? Our life is so different right now. Depression is a loss of self and depression belongs to second depth, although you can find depression in all of the depths. Death of a loved one, a loss of place. And <clears throat> about a month ago, I discovered a word that I love, and it's called solastalgia. It's distress related to environmental change the loss of solace once found in familiar, beloved environments. A loss of sense of place. And, you know, I think many of us can relate to this. Climate change is a big part of it. But also what we're going through now, a loss of a sense of place. Right, we have a longing, a longing for home, really. We also have loss of a relationship. Relationship with myself, relationship with others. So there are many ways that we experience loss, and it's a natural part of life, right? It's a part of aging. We may, we may experience loss in the ways that our bodies function, what we're able to do, you know, if we have an illness, any, anything like that. But... Um, 
I think that we can breathe our way through. Second Depth offers us the gift of breath and we can breathe our way through all of the difficulties, all of the losses. The other side of that, of course, uh, the remedy of second depth actually is gratitude. And Lynn Pfluger, who's a very beloved Jin Shinjutsu teacher who has passed on, said, as we are harmonizing our second depth, we're transforming grief for what we lost into gratitude for what we had. And where there is darkness, there will always be joy. There, I'm sorry, there will always be light. Where there is darkness, there will always be light. And of course, the, the other side of the coin of second depth is happiness and joy. And to find the joy in little things, in the flower that you're looking at, in the light, the way the light is hitting, you know, the tree, a bird song, whatever it is, it's, it's there, we can find it. No matter what's going on. So if we don't take care of the fear, that turns into anger, resentment. We now move to our middle finger, wrapping our right thumb and fingers around the middle finger. And if we can channel that energy of anger, it becomes creativity. We can use that energy. It's a lot of energy to be creative. Our second depth has the largest number of safety energy locks in it. So we have a lot of help in second depth. And when we don't breathe, things become hard. Our body becomes hard, our mind becomes hard, our thoughts become hard. And uh, Mary actually said, if you haven't changed your mind in a year, make sure you're not dead. So W.B. Yates said, too long a sacrifice can make a stone of the heart. So we can close our heart. And that, of course, affects the spirit at the deepest level. The lungs and the large intestine organ functions belong to second depth. And Mary said, the lungs regulate the energy for the entire body. All problems begin in the lungs and shoulders. Our breath is our life, and it's actually our first independent act when we're born. What is our first action? We breathe. We breathe in life. We begin our life here. Mary said, drop your shoulders. It harmonizes the breath. You can't begin to harmonize unless you're here now. Be in the breath. Be in this moment. It's the only moment we really have. The lungs raise the vibrations of our thought. 
They're the emotional level for this body. Mary said, from the lungs, the records of our thought passes to the blood. Moving to now the ring finger. Wrap our, we wrap our right fingers and thumb around our left ring finger. The lungs help us to let go of unnecessary things. First, we receive the breath. And then we exhale and eliminate what we don't need, what is no longer useful or current. So the large intestine helps us to let go of physical, mental, and emotional waste. The large intestine has to do with holding back, holding on to what's old. What no longer serves us? So in harmony, we're able to let go. There's a sweet sadness in autumn. Second depth and harmony has to do with love and creativity, feeling connected and being in relationship, being in relationship with life, with others, with ourselves, and having an intimate relationship with the natural world. Second depth is ruled by Venus. And Venus is the planet that has to do with beauty and what we love, what we're attracted to. Just feel your breath. No effort, just being in the breath that is. Imagine all that air and spaciousness in your body, in your mind, in your heart, and in your spirit. Inspiration. We need space for inspiration new thoughts, new ideas, and new ways of being. And this time is challenging us in so many ways, but it's the beginning of new ways of being. It's a new paradigm. And now we'll just go to our right ring finger. We won't go through the whole sequence on the right side, but we'll hold our right ring finger. 
wrapping our left thumb and fingers around the right ring finger. Just being in the breath, being connected to each other right now. knowing that this too will pass. And that's a part of autumn. This too will pass and we'll have new growth, new beginnings. So we're not alone. Thank you for joining me today. And Terry, thank you so much. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, no volume. Yeah, thank you, Jill. That was um, just breathtaking. I personally totally love um, the fall or autumn, as they say, in England, yes. in Europe. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I like all the seasons now, but I always used to really feel alive in the fall. I, so, yeah, I, I do too. I'm happiest in the fall. It's yeah. my favorite season. Yeah, I yeah. I feel like I feel myself and life deeply. Yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah, all those all those beautiful coloured leaves. Yeah, um, yeah, it's it's beautiful. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, thank you, Jill. Did you want to um, mention your classes coming up? Yes, I will have a webinar on fatigue on October twenty fourth, and then I'm also teaching an introduction to Jin Shin Jitsu for people primarily from the We Are One who have had the the meditations and to get a little more knowledge, a little more understanding of what Jin Shin Jitsu is and Mary's language. And so that will be over the weekend of October, I believe it's the 31st and November 1st. Some, but we'll, yeah. Um, and there are other classes coming up with my colleagues. I think Ian's is next. Is that oh, correct? Right. Okay. Let's have a quick. Uh, glance at upcoming events um, and to do that I need to share the screen on <laughs> 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 a great day <laughs> here we are everybody the upcoming online events um, yes Ian is coming up um, he's doing a, a two hour or roughly two hour online webinar on um, the elements coming up October the 10th and your host will be Chandra. So that's coming up. And then um, we have, I guess these are Zoom um, lectures, the, the one-hour Zoom. Yes. Yes. Um, yes Susan. Coming up. Susan with the Field of Consciousness, Bus Line, Waste Line, Hip Line, and then Anita, um, How to Harmonize Neck Projects, Opening Shoulders, Hips, and Extremities. Then we have study groups um, from Margarechi in Spanish and then um, Wayne and Carlos. I believe that will be translated. And then this one here is Susan again here with a five-day basic seminar. And then we have uh, those two again, Wayne and uh, Carlos, and they're doing (laughs) a 
nine plus one basic seminar. Uh, my understanding is that the plus one is, as it says here, an extra day of answers and questions. And it's over three weekends. So if you want to stretch, that might be the class for you. So thank you, everybody. Um, enjoyed um, seeing your comments in the chat. Thank you, everyone. And remember to breathe. Breathe through this time. Breathe through. Yeah. And also um, the uh, social media page, Terry, where people can find us and everything that's going on. Ah, I don't have that. Did I, I thought I sent that. Did I not? Did you? Oh, you probably did. I, let's have a look. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yes. Uh, let's um, <clears throat> let's just whiz along to that um, quickly. Um, I think it's we're on the last one. Is this it? The one? Yeah, that's it. Okay. Yeah. Um, that's all of the information where you can find us, and you can find classes, study groups webinars and so forth yeah and and the, the social media is um our facebook page right yes yes um that's um is it jin shin jitsu official like uh, youtube i can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, i believe it is something like that yeah. yeah so everybody um do um take the opportunity if you can um to check out all the different websites where you'll see we're teaching and presenting lectures the world over. And um, thank you again, Jill. We look forward to uh, you. your next We Are One and your next class. And thank you, everybody. Thank Stay you. Stay safe. Um, Terry, Terry. thank <laughs> you so much, Terry. <laughs> <laughs> You're and welcome. Be well, everyone. Take care. Yeah. Bye-bye. Yeah. Goodbye.